Hello guys, welcome to the question 23 of our database management systems. So we are having a continuous question from question 16 to now. And if I were to show you the data of the database roughly like this, you can see we have these tables in our database. So in question 23, we have the first question. What is the lowest mark obtained for single subject in the first term? So let's write the query now. So we are writing subqueries for this query and we are going to search the term ID now. And we are going to search the subject now. So we have the query like this for the first question and let's execute this. So we have the result for this query like this. And let's move on to the second question. So the second question is find all the details of the student who got the lowest mark in the first term singular subject so we just need to find the details of the student who got the lowest mark and let's write the query So we will be having the details of the students like this and let's write the condition for the question. And for the minimum mark, we are using the same query we had in our first question like this so this part of the question we had this in our first question as well to find the lowest mark of singular subject in first term so yes we got the details of the student who got the lowest mark like this so we have used subqueries and inner joints to get this result like this let's move on to the third question so in the third question what is the lowest mark obtained in the second term science subject so let's write the query now So this will be our query and let's execute. And we have got the lowest mark for the science mark in second term like this. So let's move on to the fourth question. And the fourth question is, what is the minimum mark obtained for the subject of mathematics in the term examination held on 2020 July 10th? Thank you. 
and we are searching for the subject id right now so we'll be using subqueries in here as well and we are searching for the term id which contains the exam date as 2020 July 10th so let's execute this query now and we have got the answer like this moving on to the fifth question we have find all the details of the student who obtained the minimum mark obtained for the subject of mathematics in the term examination held on 2020 july 10th So we get the details like this about the students and we will now write the conditions of the question. So first we are going to filter the minimum mark of the student to get the index number who got that. So now we are going to write the query for the condition and we are going to find out the index number of the student who got the lowest mark for mathematics in 2020 July 10th examination and here we are using the same search query we have used in our previous question to get the minimum mark which means the lowest mark of mathematics in 2020 july 10th examination and the query we're going to get is this so so this is the query we got from the last question and here you can see we have entered the mark to be filtered like this and got the index number of the student who got this mark and with the help of it you, we have got the student details to this query and let's execute and you will get the answer like this so this is the student's detail who got the lowest mark for mathematics in 2020 july 10th examination So that's all for the question 23. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.